Ever wondered why Japanese people bow or why they take their shoes off indoors? I bet you have, and I assure you, you're not alone in this curiosity. Japan, the land of the rising sun, is a nation known for its deep-rooted traditions, its unique cultural customs that are unlike any other in the world. Fascinatingly, the Japanese way of life is a cocktail of history, traditions, and customs, blended and passed down through generations and shaping the society we see today. From their food, clothing, festivals, and even the architecture, every bit of it tells a story of the country's profound cultural heritage. One of the most captivating aspects of Japanese culture is its etiquette. It's not just ordinary manners or a collection of simple courtesies, it's a code, a way of life that defines the nation. Japanese etiquette is not just about a set of protocols to follow when interacting with others. Others? No, it reaches far beyond that. It is a manifestation of deep respect that the Japanese have for each other and for their environment. Japanese etiquette is a significant part of the national identity. It is a mirror reflecting the nation's soul, the spirit of unity, harmony, and respect. Each bow, each polite gesture, and every word spoken with reverence is a testament to this. Want to get a bit more insight? Japanese etiquette is woven into everything. It's in their greetings, it's in their dining, it's in the way they use their chopsticks, and it's in the way they interact with each other. You might not notice it at first, especially if you're a foreigner visiting Japan for the first time. But once you realize it's there, once you start to see the patterns, you would appreciate the harmony it brings to society. So why is etiquette so essential in Japan? It is not just about following rules. It is about embracing and appreciating a culture. It's about acknowledging the people, their history, their traditions, and their way of life. It is, in essence, about seeing Japan through the eyes of the Japanese. As a foreigner stepping into this captivating realm customs, it is easy to make mistakes. After all, you're entering a culture that's vastly different from your own, with rules and norms that might seem strange or even alien to you. But don't worry, it's perfectly understandable. We've got you covered. We've compiled a comprehensive list of 15 common etiquette mistakes that foreigners often make while in Japan. These are the unwritten rules, the subtle cues, the silent rituals that might not be obvious to the untrained eye. However, they are crucial to understand if you want to navigate your way successfully in the land of the rising sun. We will take you on a fascinating journey, from the respectful bowing to the deeply symbolic act of taking off shoes indoors. We will dissect these customs and traditions, understanding their origins, their significance, and their impact on the Japanese society. We will delve into the world of Japanese etiquette, unraveling these social norms one by one. So get ready for a riveting adventure into the heart of Japanese culture. Buckle up, prepare your senses, open your mind, and immerse yourself in the beauty and creativity of Japan. Stay with us as we explore these intriguing rules, as we lift the veil and uncover the heart and soul of Japanese etiquette, one fascinating rule at a time. So hold on tight as we embark on this fascinating journey, a voyage into the heart of Japanese culture. Buckle up, open your mind, and prepare to immerse yourself in the beauty of Japan. Stay tuned as we explore these intriguing rules one by one. First off, let's talk about the art of bowing in Japan. This seemingly simple gesture, deeply rooted in tradition and etiquette, carries an essence far superior to any casual acknowledgement. Stretching back into antiquity in the land of the rising sun, it transcends the barriers of just being a simple polite nod. As you delve deeper into the concept, you realize that it's an unspoken language, a silent dialogue that enunciates respect, gratitude, and humility without uttering a single word. Embedded in the cultural DNA of the Japanese, bowing holds different meanings and interpretations based on the context. To the untrained eye, it may appear as just another societal norm. However, it's a fundamental part of the culture, a reflection of the deep-seated values of the Japanese people, exhibiting the highest form of courtesy it weaves a thread of unity and respect among the individuals. Much like the nuanced language and the tea ceremonies, the complexities of bowing are not easy to grasp. Many foreigners, despite their best intentions, often stumble over this simple act. They either bow too much, too little, or at the wrong time. Is where the intricacies come into play. The subtleties of bowing are unveiled in the depth, the angle, and the duration of the bow, each carrying its own significance. Just as you wouldn't wish to cause offense by mispronouncing a word or misusing term, the same care should be taken while bowing. The gesture should be smooth, the head should be lowered respectably, 
and the eyes should be modestly downcast. The key is to match the bow of your Japanese counterpart, both in depth and duration. It's not merely about replication, however. It's about understanding the profound respect and the humility that comes with it. So remember, when in Japan, don't merely mimic the actions. Understand the culture, appreciate the tradition, and perform the act with sincerity in your heart. Bow as the Japanese do. Next, we have the practice of taking off shoes indoors. This cultural tradition in Japan is deeply ingrained, serving multiple purposes, cleanliness and respect for the home, among others. The concept of removing one's shoes is not only a reflection of basic hygiene, but an act of reverence towards the house. It is a ritual that has been followed religiously in Japanese households for centuries and is considered a sacred practice. The etiquette of shoe removal is so deeply embedded in the culture that the Japanese even have a dedicated term for the space where you take off your shoes, Genkan. This space, located at the entrance of every home, serves a transition zone between the outside world and the home, symbolizing the act of leaving the external world behind and entering the sanctity of the house. However, despite its significance, this tradition is often misunderstood or overlooked by foreigners. The most common error that foreigners commit is forgetting to take off their shoes when entering a Japanese home or wearing the provided slippers into rooms with tatami mats. This is considered highly disrespectful, akin to a grave faux pas in the Japanese culture. The tatami mat rooms special areas in Japanese homes, typically used for dining or sleeping. Wearing slippers or shoes in these rooms is a violation of a sacred tradition. The practice extends beyond residential homes. Many traditional establishments like restaurants, inns, and even some offices in Japan uphold this custom. The essence of this practice is to maintain cleanliness and respect for the shared spaces. It is an integral part of the etiquette that defines Japanese society, underscoring the importance of respect for shared spaces and the community. So always remember to take off your shoes when entering a home in Japan. Now, to quickly recap what we've learned today. Japanese etiquette is an intricate tapestry of manners, respect, and cultural norms deeply entrenched in the rich heritage that forms the backbone of this exquisite country. Today we've examined two critical cultural practices that are often glossed over by foreigners or those not familiar with the country's customs and traditions. Our first rule was bowing, an act so fundamental to Japanese interaction that it transcends being a mere greeting and becomes more synonymous with a gesture of deference and respect. It's not just about the action, it's the sentiment behind it. Bowing in Japan isn't a cursory nod. It's a deep, meaningful gesture accompanied by an appropriate angle and timing, which varies in depth and duration depending on the situation and the social strata of the person you're interacting with. It's an age-old tradition that embodies the Japanese principles of respect, gratitude, and humility. Next, we delved into the practice of taking off shoes indoors, another cornerstone of Japanese etiquette that underscores the respect for purity and cleanliness. This custom is a visible demonstration of your respect for not only the sanctity of a home, but also for the host who has invited you into their space. It's an unspoken agreement that you respect the cleanliness and purity of the environment. It's important to remember that socks should be clean and devoid of any holes, as you'll be removing your shoes often. This act of removing shoes not only maintains hygiene, but also symbolically leaves outside worries at door, fostering a serene and calm atmosphere within the house. These etiquettes on the surface may seem like simple acts, but they carry a profound cultural weight, holding a deep significance in the Japanese ethos. They reflect more than just respect for others, they signify a harmonious blend of tradition and manners, exemplifying the time-honored Japanese spirit of tranquility, harmony, and mutual respect. These practices are inherent in the Japanese way of life, woven into the fabric of their daily interactions and social exchanges. Remember these rules when you next visit Japan. They will not only help you blend in with the local culture, but will also ensure a smoother, more respectful and enriching experience. You'll better appreciate the nuances of this fascinating culture, and your journey will be all the richer for it. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.